ಬಂದೇಹಂ following is a lecture given by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupad recorded on the 20th of july 1971 in new york new york sri rupam ಓಂ ಅಗ್ಗಾನತಿಮಿರಾಂದಶ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ಮಿಲಿತ ಜೀನಾ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೀ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಜೀನಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಕದಾಮಯ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸಪದಾಂತುಕ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಗೋಪೀಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ತತ್ತುಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ಬೃಹಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿಪ್ರಿಯ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶಿವಾಚಾರಿ ಗೌಡೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ to bring man to his original consciousness krishna consciousness means to bring a living entity to his original consciousness just like there are many mental hospitals what is that bellevue in your city the purpose of the hospital is to bring a crazy fellow to his original consciousness similarly this krishna consciousness movement means to bring all crazy men to his original consciousness anyone who is not krishna conscious is to be understood more or less crazy there was a case in india a murder case and the murderer pleaded that he became mad he was mad that poor he, he did not know what did he do so in order to test him whether actually he at that time was lunatic or turned mad the expert civil surgeon psychiatrist was brought to examine him so the doctor gave his opinion that so far i have studied cases all patients have come in contact they are more or less all crazy so in that sense if your lord see wants to excuse him there is another thing so that is the fact in a nice bengali poetry one great vaishnava poet has written পিশাচি পাইলে যেন মতিচ্ছন্ন হয় মায়াগ্রস্ত জীবের সেই দশা উপজয় পিশাচি ঘোষ্ট হ্যান এ ম্যান বিকামস ঘোষ্টলি হন্টেড হি স্পিক সো মেনি নন সিমিলারলি 
Anyone who is under the influence of this material nature, he is ghostly haunted. And whatever he speaks, he speaks nonsense. Never mind, he is a great philosopher, great scientist. But because he is ghostly haunted by Maya, so whatever he is theorizing, what man is speaking, that is more or less nonsense. So our at this moment is to bring man to his original consciousness, which is Krishna consciousness, clear consciousness. I have several times mentioned this, just like water, when it falls down from the cloud. It is distilled water. You catch water before falling down to the ground. It is distilled water. As distilled water is without any contamination, similarly the rain water is also distilled water. But as soon as it touches the ground, it becomes muddy, colored, so many things. Similarly, we spirit soul, part and parcel of Krishna. Therefore, our original constitutional position is as pure as God. Because we are part and parcel of God. In the Bhagavad Gita it is stated, Mamai Vang Sajiva Bhuta. The living entities are my part and parcel. So, fragmental part of gold is gold. It may be fragmented. Similarly, we are minute particles of God's body. Therefore, qualitatively, we are as good as God. The chemical composition of God's body and our body, not this body, this is material. I am speaking of our spiritual identification, that body. That is as good as God. The chemical composition is one. But similarly, as the rainwater falls down on the ground, similarly as we come in contact with this material world, material world means it is being manipulated by the material energy of Krishna, prakriti, nature. Nature means whose nature? As soon as you speak of nature, it must be inquired whose nature? The God's nature. Nature is not acting independently. That is another foolishness. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is clearly said that nature, this material nature, is not independent. Just like a foolish man, when he sees that a machine is working automatically, a machine is not working automatically. There is a driver. A foolish man cannot see behind the machine a driver. That is our defect in vision. A machine, there are electronics working very wonderfully. But behind that electronic work, there is a great scientist who is pushing the button. It is very simple to understand. Machine is matter. It cannot work out of its own accord. It is working under some spiritual direction. Just like this machine, the tape recorder, is working. But it is working under the direction of a living entity, a human being. The machine is all complete, but unless it is manipulated by a spirit soul, it cannot work. Similarly, 
take it for granted that the whole cosmic manifestation is a great machine, nature. But behind this material nature, there is God, Krishna. And Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Maya dhakshena prakriti suyate sacharacharam hetu nane na kaunte ya jagad bhi parivartate. Maya dhakshena under my direction. Maya adhakshena. Adhaksha means superintendence. Under my direction, superintendence, maya dhakshena prakriti suyate sacharacharam chara, chara, and achara. Chara means moving, and achara means not moving. Just like trees, mountains, they are not moving. But human beings, animals, ants, they are moving. So there are two kinds of entities, moving and not moving. So Krishna says that material nature acting on both these objects, moving and not moving, they, they are acting under my direction. So there is supreme control. The modern civilization, they do not understand it due to lack of knowledge. So our Krishna consciousness movement is trying to enlighten people to come to this point of knowledge. They are all crazy, conducted by the influence of the three modes of material nature. They are not in normal condition. That is very important movement. We invite this morning also, he said, in the press representative meeting in the airport, that there are so many universities, on, especially in your country, uh, Department of Knowledge, but why they are not discussing this point? Where is the Department of Knowledge? Sometimes past, I think sometimes in 1968, when I went to Boston, I was invited to speak in the Technical Institute. So my first question was, where is that technological department which is making investigation between the dead man and the living man? Where is that technology? A man becomes dead, something is losing. Where is that technology to replace it? Why do they not try for it? But because it is very difficult subject, they set aside. They are busy for technology, for eating, sleeping, mating and depending, that's all. Animal technology. The animals are also trying their best how to eat nice how to have nice sex life, how to sleep, and how to defend. So what is the difference between man's knowledge and animal's knowledge? The man's knowledge should be developed to find out this technology. What is the difference between a living man and a dead man, a living body and dead body? That is spiritual knowledge. That is, that was taught by Krishna in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna was talking as a friend, replying him as a friend. Of course, he was, whatever he was talking, that was right. But that was right to a certain point. Beyond that point, there are other subject matter of knowledge, which is called where our direct perception of material knowledge fails to approach. Just like we cannot see, there are so many microscopes 
powerful microscope, they find out within this body where is the soul. No, there is no microscope. But soul is there. Huh? Soul is there, Bhagavad Gita informs. Dehinas mean jatha dehi kaumanam jaubanam jara. Tatha dehantaram prapti dheeras tatram namayyati. Asmin de in this body, there is a proprietor of this body. It's like I am proprietor of my, my body. You are proprietor of your body. I say my hand. I don't say I hand. It is my hand. So I am different from this hand. Just I say it is my book. The book is different from me. It is my table. Similarly, my hand, my eyes, my leg, my this, my that. But where I am? Search out. That is meditation. Where I am? What I am? So you cannot search out by your material. Therefore, all these universities, they are sitting as Very difficult subject. They are very much proud by creating a horseless carriage, that's all. Formerly, the horses were drawing carriages. Now there is motor car. So they are very much proud. We have invented horseless carriage or wingless bar. There is wing, imitation wing of the aeroplane. But you invent that is soulless body, then there is credit. That cannot be. Now no machine can work without a soul. I was talking about this kind of computer. What is called? Computer. Computer. But it's still a, a trained man requires to handle the term computer. Then what is the meaning of this computer? Whatever machine you make, similarly we should understand that this great machine, which is known as cosmic manifestation, material nature, there is a supreme spirit which is manipulated. That is Krishna. And Krishna says it is confirmed. So our process of knowledge is very easy and perfect. The scientists, they are searching out what is the ultimate cause or ultimate control of this material nature. And they are putting, theorizing different proposition. But our means of knowledge is very easy and perfect. Because we are hearing from the perfect person, Krishna. And he says, Maya Dhakshina. So immediately you know that all this cosmic machine, which is working so nicely and wonderfully, behind this machine the driver is Krishna. Exactly behind the machine here there is a machine driver. Similarly, behind this big machine of material nature, there is Krishna. So our process of knowledge is very easy. Krishna's book, Bhagavad Gita, is the knowledge, book of knowledge, which is given by the perfect person, Krishna. You may argue that you have accepted him as a perfect person, but we do not. You may not. But he is perfect person on the evidence of many authorities. It is not by my wings I accept Krishna as the perfect person. No. There are many authorities, Vedic authorities, 
what my leg is like bass then he is the author of all vedic literature the treasure house of knowledge vedas he accepts krishna as the supreme personality of god he is spiritual master narad he accepts krishna as the spirit supreme personality of god he is spiritual master brahma he accepts krishna is the supreme person ishara parama krishna brahma says the supreme controller is krishna ishara ishara means control we have control and everyone nobody can says that i am without control no that is not possible everyone has got a controller have a big officer in navy you have a controller over your head but krishna has no control therefore he is god he is controller of everyone but he has no controller therefore he is god so there are many so called gods nowadays very god has become very cheap especially they are imported from india <laughs> they are not manufactured in here you are fortunate <laughs> but india they are coming out god practically every day uh, there the other day coronel was telling me that some god was coming to los angeles and they were requested to receive him so krishna is not that kind of god i mentioned in my introduction to krishna bo that krishna is not that type of god manufactured in mystic factory he is god he was not made god but he is god so the point is that behind this material big material nature cosmic manifestation there is god that is krishna and accepted by all other authorities we have to accept things which is accepted by authorities that is our education we go to teacher or go to school we learn from father and mother they are all authorities and our nature is to learn father what is this in childhood father says this is this pen this is spectacle this is table so he learns from father and mother this is table this is spectacle this is pen this is this she is my sister she is my brother so similarly if we get information from the authority and the authority is not a cheater then our knowledge is perfect but very easy. just like father and mother never cheats when the son inquires from the parents the parent gives exact information right information similarly if we get right information from the right person that is perfect knowledge if you want to reach to the conclusion by speculation that is imperfect inactive process that will never become perfect it will remain imperfect for all the time so we get information from the perfect person krishna they were whatever we speak that is perfect because we don't speak anything which is not spoken by krishna or authorities who have accepted krishna that is called disciplic success so our process is process of acquiring knowledge is very easy and perfect that is krishna concept we cannot say anything which is not accepted by the authorities coming from krishna 
and in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna recommends this process of knowledge. Evang parampara praptam imangarajar sayo vidu. This knowledge, formerly, all the great saintly kings, formerly there was monarchy, and just like nowadays also, the government is authority, your president is authority. So in the days of monarchical king, uh, government, the monarch or the king is the head of the government. He is authority. Uh, but formerly those authorities, those kings were rishis, great learned scholars, rishis, great devotees. They are not ordinary men. That, that system of government was very nice. One person, well-talented, well-trained as the head of the government, is very peacefully he could execute the governmental function. There are many instances, the Vedic civilization, how the kings were perfect. You'll find from Dhu Maharaj's instances that Dhu Maharaj went to the forest to search out God, and he found out by severe type of penance and hostilities, he found out God within six months. How? He was a five years old boy, child, according to the direction of a spiritual master, Narada. He went alone in the forest, although a king's son, very delicate body. So in the first month he simply used to eat some vegetables after three days. Each three days, one, two, three, then he eats something. Some fruits, some vegetables. Then next three months, each six days, he used to little, drink little water. Next month, in his twelve days, he used to inhale some air. In this way, for six months, he stood in one leg and executed these austerities. And at the end of six months, God became manifest before him, I to I. So, if we follow austerities, then uh, it will be possible to see God eye to eye and perfection of life. So this Krishna consciousness movement, there is austerity, but it is not very difficult. We recommend our students not to have illicit sex. We don't stop sex, but regulate. We don't stop eating, but regulate it, Krishna prasadam. No meat eating. No, we don't say no eating, but no meat eating. So what is the difficulty? Now you see, in our Krishna prasadam, we have got so many varieties of fruits, vegetables, nicely cooked. What is the difficulty? No illicit sex means don't be cats and dogs. Be married man and have one wife, one husband, and be satisfied. So unless we regulate, unless we undergo austerity, we cannot undergo such severe type of austerity as Dhuva Maharaj went. That uh, every three days a little fruit or vegetable, then every six days a little water. That is not possible in these days. If we want to imitate Dhuva Maharaj, 
it will be impossible. So, we don't prescribe any impossible method, but possible method. But if you take to these principles, then you make advance in spiritual consciousness, in Krishna consciousness. And as you make advancement in Krishna consciousness, then you become perfect in knowledge. Otherwise, what is the use of becoming scientist or philosopher who cannot say what is next life? But these students, they can very easily say what is next life, what is God, what is, what I am, what is our relationship. This knowledge you will find perfectly because they are reading perfect book of knowledge, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad. So this is our process, very easy. Anyone can adopt and make his life perfect. And if somebody says that I am not educated, I cannot read book, still there is possibility. He simply chant Hare Krishna. So you have got tongue, you have got ear. Krishna has given you. And He'll be surprised to know that Krishna is realized through tongue, not through eyes, not through ears. Tongue. Of course, after tongue, the other senses are following. Tongue is the chief. So we have to control the tongue. How to control? Chant Hare Krishna and test Krishna Prasad. That's all. Sevan mukhi hi jivhādo sāyameva spurattada atas krishna nāmādi na bhavet grāyam indriyai. You cannot understand Krishna by exercising your sensual perception, speculation. It is not possible. Krishna is so great that he is not within your sensual exercise. No. He can be understood by surrender. Krishna therefore recommends this process. Sarva dhanvan paritta jamami kang saranam Because our disease is rebellious. No authority. We don't want any authority. That is our disease. We say we don't want any authority. But nature is so strong that he forces his authority upon you. You are forced to accept the authority of nature by your sensual exercise. You cannot say that I am independent. You may say all nonsense that I don't want authority. But you are, everyone is under authority. And that is our foolishness. We are under authority. Still we say we don't want any authority. This is called maya, illusion. So the best authority is Krishna. If we, after all, we have to accept authority. So why not best authority? Krishna. Then your life becomes successful. Thank you very much. Thank you.